Former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan was granted protective bail by two courts in Islamabad on Tuesday, providing him respite till March 9th in cases that range from gathering illegal funds for his political party to inciting violence against state officials. Hundreds of supporters followed Khan on his way to court on Tuesday, chanting and covering the car with flower petals. Farmers in Argentina staged a protest in Santa Fe province on Tuesday to demand lower taxes and a better exchange rate for their exports amid a prolonged economic slump and a historic drought that has barred crops and agricultural output. Farmers are asking the government for less burdensome interventionist trade policies and the elimination of export taxes. After a 42-kilometer race across Western Sahara, hundreds of runners arrived at the Samara Sahrawi refugee camp in Algeria's Tindouf on Tuesday, exhausted but proud to be supporting the people of Western Sahara. The Solidarity Sahara Marathon is part of an initiative to support the Sahrawi children living in the refugee camps around Tindouf. New York City woke up to its heaviest snowfall of the season on Tuesday. According to the National Weather Service, Central Park's total snow accumulation was over 45 centimeters. Snow began falling on Monday evening but had largely turned into a mix of sleet and rain by the time commuters set out for work early Tuesday.